What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Pokemon Sword and last episode I got the grass badge. Today we're going to move on. I want to thank you guys for your support. I cannot believe it, but you guys left over 18,000 likes in the first episode and that episode now has over uh, 800,000 views. I am so thrilled. Thank you so much. The puzzle, you guys let me know in the comments below, was you go visit these in a correct order. So the first one was grass, which we had the clue from last time. So we visited the grass one. And then we got to go visit the water one and then the fire one. And so the water one was over here. This guy was looking at it. Do you remember this guy looking at it over here? I don't know if this is the right path. It is the right path. Here we go. This guy was just staring at it over here. So we're going to go visit it next. And then we got to go visit the fire type. Uh, water. Okay. And then we go visit the fire type, which I believe is over here. We're going to find out real quick if it is or not. <laughs> so I can't move the camera. Excuse me. I can't believe Milo. What? You can't believe Milo lost? Well, I won. Believe that. Where'd you go? Freaking ghost lady. Okay, well, we're going to move on then. <laughs> I don't need some ghost insulting me behind my back as I walk past him. Is this the fire one? I might get this in complete wrong order, but if this is the fire one, then this is the correct answer to the puzzle. Uh, fire. Something buried in the ground. The expert belt. So I got the expert belt, and now that's in my other item's pocket. An item to be held by a Pokemon, it's a well-worn belt that slightly boosts the power of super effective moves. So pretty cool. You know, I don't know what else Score Bunny is holding right now. I don't think anything. So I'm going to go ahead and reach into my bag. And no, S-Dog is holding coal. Oh, so maybe I'll just wait. I'll wait. We'll see. I'll wait. Maybe I'll give it to P-Dog. I don't know. I'll wait. I don't know. What do you think? I could wait. Let's move on. <laughs> well, I'll figure out what to do with it in a bit. Uh, so how do I get out of here? Like for real, I need to get out of here. Route 5 is the correct path to take, Cor correct? Let's look at the map really quick. Because if we look at the town map, we got to know which way to go. Yeah, this is it. Route 5 will take us to Holbury. So we're here now, right? And then there's a smiley face here. This is Route 5 Pokemon Nursery, so we're going to get that done too. Let's go to Holbury or, or make our way towards there. There's also, I think, a wild area somewhere? We'll find out. Maybe there's not. What's up, guys? Whoa! Time for a special interview with a gym challenger. The best way to get to know you is a Pokemon battle, of course. All right. Good Pokemon and trainers really shine on camera. I don't know about that. Or maybe we do. Look at me right now, shining on camera. My camera's not on right now, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, heli Helioptile. Helioptile. What the heck is all this stuff? Are these two different? Okay, hel Helioptile and Clink. Uh, okay. <laughs> what, what is clean? I'm, it's a it's a steel Pokemon probably. It's probably if it is, it's weak against fire. So let's just burn Clink with fire. Fight fire with fire. Flame charge goes to Clink. There you go. Oh, and we also have M Dog out here. Interesting. I'll just use M Dog to do uh, dude. No idea. I'll do bite on uh, on uh, Heli Helioptile. Here we go. Quick attack coming through. Ouch. Don't worry about it. Flame charge. Got him. Easy does it. My speed rose. Clink fainted. Rip clink. Rip fan clinkle. All right. S-Dog leveled up a little bit. And M-Dog's going to use a bite move. Which is just okay. Not Nothing to write home about. Let's do a quick attack on Hel Heli Helioptile. I think that's what you would say. And then let's do uh, a, a slash. Just regular old slash. Here we go. Let's do our moves. Here we go. Quick attack. Well, bam That was quick, right? You didn't even see it coming. And then here's a slash. There you go. A critical hit, believe it or not. All right. Helioptile. It's a lizard-type Pokemon. <laughs> All right. Well, they uh, they we got experience points. That's, that means S-Dog levels up. Uh, Helioptile is what was Helioptile? Helioptile was a, an electric normal. Okay, there we go. Uh, sure. Let's take a look at agility and just see if we want to learn it. Uh, agility is a psychic attack. That sounds interesting. Uh, raises the speed stat. No, I don't want to learn that. Do you want to give up? Yes, forgive it. I don't want it. I don't want it. P Dog is level 20 as well and wants to learn the move Sparkle. Spark. Uh, sure. Forget an old move. Let's see. Spark is an electric attack. Is it 65, 100? May leave him in paralysis. 
Let's forget the Thunder Wave then. Do a weak jolt of electricity that paralyzes the target. May also well, that's a may. What do you think? Maybe we, maybe we we could forget. Uh, the faster the user is in the target, the greater the move's power. Dude, I don't know. Electro Ball or Spark. We get rid of Faint. I don't know. We could probably always relearn Faint or something, right? Let's just uh, let's just have like these crazy moves. We could do this one's so powerful. I kind of want to replace this one, but they're different types. You see, this one's a more physical attack. This one's a more whatever. The categories are all different here. So let's learn, let's forget faint. I guess maybe. Yeah, let's forget faint. Here we go. Faint. Uh, forget faint and learn spark. There we go. Different types of electricity moves. So we got it. We got it. Electric moves, so to speak. But thank you guys for the comments last episode, letting me know how to solve that puzzle. I do rely on you sometimes. Whoa! She looked like she was about to eat that microphone. It's hard to describe in just a few words what incredible potential. It, I lost. Does that mean the interview is ruined? No, that means the interview just got way better. All right, we're gonna move on. Excuse me, nerds. Oh, look at these floaty things. What are these? Oh wow, look at that guy. Come here, buddy. Hi. You're not going to attack me, are you? They wouldn't possibly. They just want to see me. Hello. I'm going to attack you, though. Here we go. This is a uh, wild stuffle. I mean, I don't even know if I should catch these, but he looks cute, right? So let's go ahead and just uh, burn him. All Pokemon should be flammable, you would think. But they're not all. That was a pretty good one. Oh, he's on fire. Stuffle was burned, baby. Brutal swing. Don't, don't hurt me. I did nothing to you. I did a little bit. My health is my max health is 69. Nice. Let's do uh, a ball. Pokeball. Use the Pokeball. Here we go. Got it. Come on, we got this. We got this. Locked and loaded. Stuffle was caught. All right. That makes me happy. It's Fluffy Fur, it, this is a fighting. It's Fluffy Fur is a delight to pet, but carelessly reaching out to touch this Pokemon could result in a painful retaliation. A no nickname, and also I'm gonna say, peace, we're sending you to the box. This other thing though, what are you? What do you want? What do you want? This is a little cute little uh, wild Swirlix. All right, S-Dog is here. Uh, let's just fight the Swirlix then. Let's do another Ember. You would think that with all the little puffs, it could just burn right up, but it doesn't. Fake tears. Those are real tears. I made you cry. Ow. Uh, let's do a fighting attack move. Double kick to the fluffy little face of this guy. Kick your tongue. That's a weak attack. What is a Swirlix? Not very effective. I can see that. Uh, let's go ahead. Draining kiss. No thanks. I'm not going to try to catch you now. Unless you heal. No, nope, not very effective. It does heal. Uh, let's do a flame charge. Here we go. There you go. Now you, sh you should be attacked. My speed has increased. Ar aromatherapy? But it failed. Ha ha ha. Now I will catch you, and we will see if it's successful. There we go. One. What? Don't cry about it. I might just not catch you. I might not catch you. You're getting on my nerves. I might just beat you up. Try again. Here we go. Pokeball. Come on. We got this to work. We got to make this work. Uno. Dos. Trace. That's all Spanish. We got it. Swirlix was caught. And then I'm going to just, uh, you know. Hey, Pump Kaboo leveled up. All right. Let's see, go ahead. It's a fairy type, okay. Uh, no nickname, and yes, box you up. Send to a box. Whoa, what is this dude? Whoa, he's got a, it looks like he's got a pee. This is a Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet, I don't know, man. What the heck is a Wobbuffet? 
Looks like a water type, if I had to guess, but let's see. Wob Buffet is, drum roll please, a psychic type, okay. Um, so, psychic types are weak against uh, bug, ghost, dark moves. I could bring out, uh, you know, we'd switch Pokemon, but I, I want to capture them, so I don't, I don't actually want to use those moves against them. Let's just do a flame charge. Let's try to weaken him, weaken him a little bit. Not, not very weak. All right, mirror coat, but failed. Here we go, let's do a fighting move. Sure, double kick. Well, wham! Oh, that's terrible, why would I do that? I didn't even look at it to see what it was not weak against or what it was strong against. Counter, don't do that. Ow, got punched in my tummy. One more move, flame charge, sure, here we go. Then I'll try to attempt to capture, that was pretty good. All right, safeguard, don't worry about it. Don't safeguard yourself. Mystical Veil, whatever. Let's see if I can catch you with or without the veil. I don't know. All right. Oh, come on. You gotta be joking, kidding me. All right, uh, go ahead and uh, fight again. No, I mean not fight. We're gonna try to capture again, I guess. All right. All right. Uh, come on, we got it. No, you gotta be joking, kidding me. Well, we had it. I'm gonna give up on catching this thing. Let's, uh. We could try a heal ball. That way, maybe you will, you will you like the soothing feel of the heal, right? What the heck? You jerk. Why is it so hard to capture? Nest ball. Great ball. Here we go. I'm gonna use a great ball to try to get you. All right. Come on now. What? You gotta be joking, kidding me, dude. Destiny Bond, what is this? I'm gonna do a weak kick to your face and hope it doesn't make you faint. There we go. I'm gonna try to catch you now, you big dork. I wasted so many balls on you, are you even worth it? Probably not. Let's try the great ball again. Is this safeguard stopping it from being caught? You got, oh my god. All right, mirror coat. I'm gonna wait till the safeguard goes away. Let me just use an item in my bag. I'll use a potion on me. I'm gonna wait till your safeguard disappears, you know. Let's see if I can actually catch you this next time. Don't use safeguard anymore, but failed, good. What else can I do in the back? Can I just skip my turn? Can I just like skip? <laughs> Let's try a regular Pokeball, I guess. Just, I mean, cause I have a lot of these. I hate that I'm, I'm here for so long fighting this stupid thing. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, I got, this thing better be worth it. I don't even know what it is. All right, we leveled up though, that's good. M Dog wants to learn the move Taunt. Let's see, what does Taunt do? Taunt's a dark move. Uh, use it uh, to only attack move, allows it to use only attack moves for three turns. Slash, growl, fake out. Uh, let's forget Growl and use Taunt, maybe. Because what if it's using some crazy special stuff? So let's forget Growl. And Wing Gull's level 20. Nice. Water Pulse. Yeah, sure, yeah, we could, we could use a Water Attack, another one. We got Water Gun, which is 40, 100, and this is 60, 100. I guess I would rather forget Water Gun, because it's the same type of move. So let's forget Water Gun. There you go. So Wingall got a better water attack. All right. Man, why did it take so long to capture that thing? Well, if it's data, will be added to the Pokédex. It hates light and shock. If attacked, it inflates its body to pump up its Counter Strike. It's a psychic type. Uh, no nickname. You're going to the box for now. I don't know that I need any psychics on my team right now. I don't know. Maybe I do. I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. We, we've caught enough stuff over there. I I don't know, man. 
how do I get oh I see I see I see what's going on excuse me excuse me no don't touch me shed shell an item to be held by a Pokemon to discard it carapace enables the holder to switch out a battle without fail believe me I will find a way to fail all right let's go let's move on I don't want to I don't want to take any more time catching Pokemon honestly it's not it's honestly my least favorite part of Pokemon <laughs> nice to see a new face here around this is the Pokemon nursery we take care of people's Pokemon here when people leave two Pokemon with us we sometimes find eggs if you're interested in that sort of thing ask the old lady inside to tell you more if you want to leave any Pokemon with me, sure. I like to leave a Pokemon. Two Pokemon. Which Pokemon? Can I look at my box? Ooh, good, good, good. Let's leave, uh... Let's leave... Who should we leave? This guy. I don't know, man. What do you think? Should we leave, uh, the, the latest ones we've caught? We could leave a couple Yampers. Let's leave, uh... I don't even know how this works, by the way. Let's leave, uh... This thing, Diggersby. Dude, I don't know what to leave. Zigazagoon. I don't know what to leave. They want me to leave two, and sometimes you'll find eggs. Are they gonna? Are they gonna? Here, we're gonna have. Uh... <laughs> I hate being paralyzed by the burden of choice. Let's leave little shitter. And then we'll also leave uh, this thing. This thing looks like it'll have fun with little shitter. <laughs> I don't know the mechanics behind this. Sure, let's leave these two little woodland creatures. What? It costs money? Okay, fine. There we go. Okay, a little <laughs> we'll take care of them. Whenever uh whenever you want to collect your Pokemon, do let me know. I'm gonna forget about them forever. Let's go inside here and see what's going on. Hello. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg and it carried around with me and it hatched into a Toxel. Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. Sure, why not? Why not? What the heck's a Toxel? Oh, he's cute though. He's real cute. What is a Toxel? I'm gonna look it up because I don't know what a Toxel is. Toxel is a Pokemon. It is electric poison. That sounds interesting. That sounds really interesting actually. Okay, thanks. Uh, who should I get rid of? Toxel's data will be added to the Pokedex. I don't know. Sure. Uh, no, no nickname. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Uh, add to my party. Let's, uh, she wants me to raise him, so I mean, I, I got to be a responsible father person. Let's get rid of Pumpkaboo. Or Stunky. No, Stunky's kind of interesting. Let's get rid of this thing. I, I don't know what this is. Okay, store it. Place the item in my bag. Okay, Toxel's here. Tox, Tox! And take these two. They'll help your Pokemon grow if you use them. What do I get? Five experience candies XS. All right, awesome. A candy that is packed with energy. When consumed, it will grant a single Pokemon a very small amount of experience points. Great. Thank you so much. What say you? Oh, welcome. Is there anything you'd like to know about? Tell me about Pokemon eggs. If you put a Pokemon egg in your party and carry it around a Pokemon will hatch from the egg, nobody knows where Pokemon's eggs come from. Tell me about what Pokemon I should leave. If you want to find Pokemon eggs, think about the two Pokemon you leave here. I recommend you leave two of the same species with different genders. <laughs> if the species are similar, we may still find a Pokemon egg. Okay. But it seems that we never find eggs with certain combinations. Okay. Well, anyway. We'll see what happens with mine. Nope. Come again. I don't know what's going to happen with mine. Who knows? Uh, okay, we can go down here and fight some more. That'll be fun. Is there another wild area around here? My partner Pokemon's been growing in a really unique way. Uh, check it out. Okay, I will. Pokemon breeder, Adrian. Stuffle. Okay, I just caught a Stuffle. So, uh, you know, what, what I want to do, I, I want to beat this Stuffle. So with it being a normal fighting type, we can take a look at what fighting is weak against flying and psychic or fairy. I actually just got some of those things, but uh, normal is weak against fighting. So we could go ahead and just, uh, how about fight, right? Probably so. Or actually fighting, uh, is it, if it's, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Double kick. Here we go. Critical hit, in fact, that was good. One more. 
All right, not too bad, super effective. Brutal swing, very brutal. All right, let's go ahead and do another one of those double. He has three Pokemon I gotta deal with? Come on, kid. All right, he's gone. Who's next, who's next? Super effective, the Pokemon was hit one time. Who's coming out next? Level up, Tox Toxel's so weak. But Toxel's just got a lot of XP. Uh, Ralts. I remember Ralts. I don't remember how I remember Ralts, but I remember Ralts. And I don't think I like Ralts. Maybe I do like Ralts. I do like Ralts. Psychic Fairy. So Psychic Fairy is going to be weak against uh, Bug, Ghost, Dark. For Psychic Fairy is going to be weak against uh, Poison, Steel. Bug. So not Bug. Not Dark. So Psychic Fairy is interesting because it cancels out the... Uh, the uh the 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 dark move so ghost is a good one but bug it cancels with the dark and the bug that's annoying what the heck so a psychic fairy cancels out the weaknesses of, of bug and dark ghost is still effective poison's also effective uh so we have someone with poison so i'm going to switch pokemon this is just me doing a little research here stunky has a poison attack and i guess toxel does too but toxel's way too weak so let's bring out Stunky uh, with the acid spray. All right, Stunky, here you go. There we go. Get ready for it. Ralt is here. All right, fight. Uh, let's do acid spray. That's your like one weakness, basically, other than ghost. Well, that was good. Super effective. All right, he's gonna use Growl, I don't care. We could do uh, another Acid Spray, why not? Why not? No, not a potion! Cheater! Don't worry, maybe this will do the trick. There we go, take that Ralts. Ralts fainted. Awesome, Stunky and Toxel have leveled up. Toxel grew to level nine. Uh, Cutie Fly, switch your Pokemon. Well, I don't think so, but let's look at what Cutie Fly is. So Cutie Fly is a Bug Fairy, which is interesting. Bugs are, of course, weak against fire. So I'm gonna go and switch back to uh, switch back to uh, to uh, S Dog. Where you at? There you are. And I'm gonna land a fire attack, so here we go. Get ready for it. All right. Cutie fly. Oh, so cute. So cute, I'm gonna burn you! Flame charge. Wa-bam. Cutie fly is dead. All right, cool. That's what strategy is all about, guys. Pokemon gained experience points, and we leveled up. Fantastic. All right, Pokemon are living creatures after all. You can't always raise them how you want. True. All right, so where to? Down here, what, hey. Hey, what's up? I'd like to show you my Pokemon that have grown so well. All right. You got a big nose. Breeder Debra. She looks like a Debra. <laughs> Minchino, what is that? I never know any of these things. How do you spell that? Is it with, oh, is it, what? Okay, Benchino, sorry, I don't know what this is. It's just a normal, okay, fine. I'm gonna use a, a double kick on you then. Here you go, boom. Cute charm, don't charm me. I'm in love. Oh yeah, that's what I do to the people I love. I kick them in the face. All right, how many do you have here? S-Dog leveled up again, which is great. Toxel grew to level 11. Toxel keeps growing here, that's good. Uh, Steeny, Steeny's coming out. Uh, Steeny is a, sounds like a steel, but it's it's a grass. So fire, fire is great. Uh, keep current Pokemon. Hello, Steeny. All right, Steeny's dead. Steeny is gonna get whipped with the flame charge. Feel the fury. There you go. 
super effective, see me fainted. Says these things are 100% female. Toxel leveled up again. Debra is hurt again. I wasn't sure which moves to use and got lost in thought. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, move on. All right, I don't, I don't feel the, the huge desire. No, 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 don't touch me. Dang it, it touched me. Ugh, yuck, I'm, I'm leaving. Let me just run away. I should get experience for strategically running away. I don't want, I don't want you here. I don't want to waste time fighting you even. Let's go. Why, why is this over here? There's got to be some reason. There it is. There it is. Attract. There's another campsite. All right. If the opposite gender of the user, the target becomes infatuated and less likely to attack. All right. So, uh, I'm just looking around here. Just looking around, see if there's anything in the outskirts. There's a chef or something. What the heck are you? Oh ho! I found a trainer whilst gathering berries. All right. You're challenged by Cook Stewart. Applin. It's an apple type Pokemon. <laughs> Fruit type Pokemon. I'm guessing grass because it's a, a vegetable. I'm just, I haven't looked at them up. But go ahead and use that. That was a pretty good one. We're going to be making some apple pie today. Apple, whoa, Apple is a grass dragon type? You gotta be joking, kidding me. All right, uh, let's just keep up with the, fl the flame charge, I guess. That's an interesting combo. Gotcha. All right, level up Toxel once more. Cook Stewart. I should have given my Pokemon a berry when its HP got low. All right, well, we can put him in the stew. In the soup. Look at that dumb looking bird. Oh, this is, sorry, I got too excited. This guy, a wild far-fetched. I do like this guy. This guy's coming to my party, I think. Uh, what sh So he's far-fetched and then like, so this is, what's cool is far-fetched, this, this one's exclusive to sword. Um, far-fetched uh, becomes, uh, uh, what does he become? It becomes like sir-fetched, right? That's like the newest thing in the game, everyone was super excited that he had like an evolution into Surfetched, right? So how do you uh, how do you take a look at that? Like how do I, I'm trying to look at the wiki. I have no idea how this works. But he basically he basically evolves, right? I think, right? Uh, sir, yeah. After landing three critical hits in a single battle. Ooh. It's a fighting type. No, in Galar, Farfetch'd has a regional variant that is fighting. Okay, I'm just looking this up. This is crazy, this, so this guy's new. So, I, if, I, I don't know. Let's just, uh, let me try to capture him, I guess. Let's do Ember, I don't know. He looks really cool. Rock Smash. Oh, wow, that was painful. All right, let's uh, do another Ember, because we know that was weak enough. We want to get him down so we can capture him. I think, we'll, we'll take a look at what he is once we do capture him. Fairy Cutter, ow, God. Not very effective. Um, so let's go ahead and try to pick him up. Uh, let's see. We could use a, maybe a great ball. Maybe a premier ball? I don't know. Friend ball. Let's use a great ball. Let's see if we can get him in. Dang it! Rock smash. Ow. Okay, I'm almost dead. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, look at my bag. Uh, let's do a energy powder, I guess, or let's do an energy powder, I guess. Snort that up your nose. You'll be healed in no time. All right, there we go. All right, not very effective. Let's go ahead and uh, try again. Let's just try a great ball, I guess. I don't know. All right, that's my last great ball. So I hope it works. I can always buy more, of course. Dang it! Dude, I don't know how to. Let's try a heal ball.
Don't you want to be soothed? Come on, Farfetch. Don't you want to be soothed by the thing? We got it. There we go. Farfetch was caught. Nice. Level up. P Dog, Toxel have both leveled up. Toxel's 14. And we now have uh, this guy. Farfetch would like to be added. So he is a fighting type. The Farfetch of the Gala region are brave warriors and they wield thick, tough leeks in battle. So I'm glad I have him. I don't quite know. I mean, do I need a fighting type? I don't know. If he's just a fighting type, I don't know if I really, really need that. But what kind of moves can Farfetch learn? You know, I don't, I don't know. I, I would have to do some research. But I kind of want him in my party. Um, do I? I mean, he's such a cool guy, right? Jeez. Let me think about this. So Surfetched will be super cool when we get him. He's Surfetched is a fighting type. I'm looking at what kind of moves he might have. Um, you know, we could give him a... Uh, he has some... Uh, his fighting dark moves. I don't know, man. I don't really understand how to read this stuff. But he seems real cool, right? I'm gonna name him F Dog. I think I'm gonna keep him. He's gonna be F Dog. And to level him up, you gotta get like three critical hits in a battle, is what I read. I don't know how that's gonna happen, but we'll see. F Dog. So add to my party, I guess. But who do I wanna swap out? Stunky has been a little useful. I don't know how useful M Dog is going to be, honestly. For now, I think I'm going to get rid of Stunky. Although the poison does help sometimes. We got Toxel, which has poison capabilities, right? So, Stunky, goodbye to you. F Dog's coming to the party. That's cool. Three heal balls, excuse me. Don't mess with me. I just got a cool guy. All right, let's uh, shake the tree. I'm just gonna keep shaking until something comes out. One berry. Right, more berries, come on, berry, berry, berry. All right, here we go. Sorry it takes me so long to decide sometimes. All right, nine berries, shake it more. Something's about to come out, I think. What is it? Oh, this freaking little shitter. Squovet. Hate you guys. Gonna kick your teeth in again. Super effective. Here we go. Bam. Well, bam. That's all. Come on. Super effective. Stockpile. Alright, stockpile one. Defense Rose. Special Defense Rose. Don't worry, I'm kicking you again. Here you go. One. Two. Alright. Super effective. F-Dog is leveling up. He's actually a pretty high level too, which is cool. Alright. So I picked up the berries that were still there. All right, let's, uh, I mean, I kind of want to see, uh, do I, I don't think I need to go to the, there's, oh, there's an item over here, though. So that's important. Two big mushrooms. I don't think I have any real desire to, uh, whoa, 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 oh, okay, cool. We're back here. There's another one of those guys. Supposedly exclusive to this, to the sword version of this game, so. Oh, great. Team yells back. Oh, I just hand over that bike already. We need it to cross the long bridge. We're going to use that bike to chase around gym challengers. It'll be a scream. How barbaric. It wouldn't work anyway. You don't even have Rotom with you. Hey, young gym challenger. They're trying to steal my bike. I don't even see your bike. Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I will be in your debt. He looks sick, though. All right. Oh, 
We're not trying to steal that bike, only borrow it. We're going to use it to chase after gym challenges and make them all tired. But I'm thinking you deserve a special shout-out. I'm going to crush you in battle. All right. Team Yell again. Here we go. Zigzagoon. All right, what does Zigzagoon need? Zigzagoon is a, a normal type, so um, the Galarian is a dark normal. I'm thinking uh, if we have a fighting move that we could switch and bring out Sir Sir Fetch, F Dog. Yeah, he has a fighting. He has a lot of cool moves. So swap Pokemon. These are all super effective against it. All right, here we go. Snarl. Haha, <laughs> that did nothing. Uh, is there any way to raise my chances of getting a critical? Let's do a rock smash. Bam! That was good, right? All right, goodbye to you, Thievel. No, let's see. I don't even know what what Thievel is, but let's just go ahead and uh, try to try to uh, try to deal with this. Thievel is looks. What does he look like? He is a dark type Pokemon. What does he look like? Oh wow! Whoa, is that that one fox thing that that looks like it got better? Maybe so. Uh, darks are weak against fighting. Perfectly enough. I'm glad I got this guy. Uh, lucky me, right? Here comes a rock smash. That looks like a crazy dog. Now there's nothing to me. Here comes this. Rock smash. Bam! Oh, that was good. Super effective. Maybe not great enough, but we can do it again. Here we go. Rock smash again. Awesome, super effective, Thievel fainted. All right, level up. How do you raise your chances of getting a critical attack? Do I have any items that do that? I have to fight against someone in a single battle. God, you crushed my attempt to crush you. Why you, I don't want, I want that bite, don't get in my way. So I gotta fight the other guy. Challenge by Team Yell Grunt. Sableye. What is Sableye? Is that a steel type? And if it is a Sable, if it is a steel type, you know, like what, uh, let me make sure. It is a dark ghost. Sorry, I thought it was a, <laughs> it's a dark ghost. So dark, weak against fighting. Nice, right? Ghost, however, though, immune to fighting. Um, so fighting and normal attacks are off the, uh, off the thing, but a bug attack would still be, oh, that's nerfed by the ghost as well. Uh, but we could do a fairy, I don't have any fairy. Let's just stick with fire then. Let's just try to burn it with fire. Here we go, flame charge. Here we go. Bam, that was not bad. Astonish. Ow. Let's fight again with the flame charge. Well, bam, there you go. Sableye fainted. Team Yell, you're gonna have to find a new new place. I got a bridge to cross. Toxel leveled up again. Toxel is 16. There we go. I was too distracted by that bike. Otherwise, there's no way I'd lose to a yellow belly like you. To yellow belly. Emphasis on the yell, Team Yell. You're too strong. If you stay in the gym challenge, you're gonna cause problems for our lady. You ain't you haven't seen the last of us. We're gonna make sure you stay out of our lady's way. All right, well, good luck to you. My word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic, I think I'll give this bike to you then. You better you have it than Team Yell. Now that you know that Rotom loves motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So, that got me thinking. If I attach a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I could get a Rotom to pop into that as well, right? Come now, give it a shot. Enjoy cycling together with Rotom to the fullest. Chop, chop, come on now. You and Rotom ride that bicycle together. All right, here we go, Rotom bike. This bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom to use a turbo boost. I'll read the manual. I will not read the manual. How do I cycle? 
Do I really want to cycle? Resist feather. Oh, nice. How do I do this? Where's how do I bring out the? <laughs> how do I bring out the bicycle? Oh, jeez. I don't know how to do. It. I, just, I did I skip right over it? How about mission items? Road and bike. I can't ride this from the bag. All right, that's fine. I didn't want to ride it anyway. How do I ride the? <laughs> how do I ride the bike? <laughs> there it is. Wee wee. Look at me riding a bike. Do you want to fight? Want to fight me? No. What's the problem with those team yell goons? I I can understand wanting to cheer someone on, but they cause so much trouble in the process. Hardly a decent way for, for fans to, to behave. All right, here we go, riding the bike. Sup? That big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. Oh, wow. Hammerlock Stadium, you're going to battle there too. Oh, there's an item over here. Genius Feather, that's for me, because I'm a genius. An item to use on a Pokemon is slightly increases special attack points of a Pokemon. There you are, Z Dog. I'm warning you, though. Any closer than that, and we're going to have to have a battle, you and me. No problem. Let's battle it out. All right. I warned you. We're both gym challengers who've earned ourselves a grass badge. This is a perfect training. All right. Here we go. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. All right. Great. Pokemon Trainer Hop sent out Wooloo. All right. S Dog, you can do it. Let's have a taste of what Gym Badge Holder's team can do. So, uh, sure. I'm gonna use my double kick because it's super effective and plus I'm much stronger than you. There you go, your Wooloo is crushed again. You don't learn, Hop never learns. All right, super effective. That Pokemon was hit two times. Whoa, typical. Should've known you mastered tight matchups. Of course I did, uh, of course I did. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Uh, we gain experience, which is good, of course. All right. So, let's see. Uh, who's Corvus Squire? What? Keep cur who is that? Do you have a new Pokemon? That's not fair. Oh, that bird. Holy God. Uh, a nerve. I'm too nervous. Did he level up? He may, he may be leveled up. Let's just fight. Uh, let's do a flame charge? I don't know, man. Your feathers look like they could be on, caught on fire. Oh, that was a pretty good hit regardless of whether or not it was meant for you. All right, let's see. All right. So, uh, what are we gonna do? Let's fight again, maybe? Sure, same thing, why not? He's almost, he's almost doomed. All right. He's gone. Toxel leveled up. So I'm reading here that you'll need to farm Farfetch until you get a leak item. Farfetch located in Route 5. Uh, regular Farfetch have a 5% chance of dropping a leak item while Galarian farms have a 50% chance. The leak, when equipped on by Farfetch, doubles its critical rate. Okay. Here comes, uh, we'll just keep current Pokemon. So if I if I, if I I farm Farfetch, then there's a chance of dropping the leak. Is that what's happening? All right. So I was looking that up because I was like, how do you get more crits? Whoa, your guy leveled up too. Okay, well, flame charge again. Because he's a grass, is he grass type, right? Boom. De oh, almost dead. Super effective. Double hit. Ow, okay. Stop punching me, you little monkey dude. All right. Let's do a double kick then. No! Dang it, super potions are pretty good. All right, fine. Double kick again. Bro, no, me double kicking you. All right. I might need to heal my guy. Let's do flame charge again. Let me hit first, please. Dead. Nice. So, uh... Level up, nice. Nice. Pokemon Trainer Hop. 
We both got ourselves the same grass badge, so how come you're so much stronger? Because uh, I'm going to get all the badges. You're not. <laughs> Alright. You've gotten strong, Z-Dog. Seems I've got to train even harder from now on. Alright. I obtained a revive. Alright. Thank you so much. Next up is Nessa, the leader of the water gym. A water gym? Okay, great. That means... uh, what, what What's strong against water? Electricity? Or is it opposite? Oh, hold on. There's another item. Genius feather. It's perfect for me. So, uh, far-fetched with the leak item, huh? All right, I'm trying to catch this far-fetched to see uh, if this guy has a leak. Because if he has a leak, then you're able to uh, have critical attacks. Um, you know, more likely to have critical attacks. Let's use a great ball and see if we can capture him really quick. I don't know how many times this is gonna take, but if we can capture him, then that'll and he has a leak, then that'll be great. Uh, we'll compare him to the other far-fetched to see which one we want to keep. But um, let's see, far-fetched was caught. Uh, let's see if he has the leak on him. If not, then we'll just move on and try to. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think he has a leak. Yeah, send to the send to the box. I get. I guess. Let's see, can we see a summary? Does he have the leak on him? Oh, he does have the leak. Excellent. Okay, so um, this is great. So he's level twenty. I don't know. What's my other far fetched? Uh, let's see, out of the party. My other far-fetched is a level 22. So yeah, we're gonna wanna, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna send him to the box and then keep his item. So he has the leak. Uh, so send the Pokemon to the, uh, place the item in my bag. Cause we want the other far-fetched, our F-Dog, to have the leak. So there we go. Uh, so basically it's like a 50-50 chance for you to get a, uh, I looked it up. There's a 50-50 chance for them, for him to have a leak. So now we look in the bag and we give the other Farfetch'd the leak and he has a high chance of getting a critical attack. Uh, so, uh, where's the where's the held item stuff? Uh, hold on, I'll figure it out. It's not under berries, it's probably this. Leaf stone, yeah, leak. So now I'm gonna have it uh, Farfetch'd hold it. So he's holding the leak. And uh, so F-Dog now has a leak. And my F dog is a female, interestingly enough. Uh, so let's go ahead then, and uh, it's like it's gonna be a female sir fetched eventually, right? right am, I, am I reading that right? Let's see, Pokemon. Yeah, F dog's a female. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I have two big dogs in my house, Ursa and Ari, and they're both female and they're both very tough. So. Let's go ahead and uh, I guess what we're gonna wanna do now is find someone who I can attack several times and try to get criticals. All right, I'm gonna try to fly, uh, fight this thing because it's a flying type. And uh, we're gonna see if we can, it, well, is it a flying type? First off, I don't know, maybe. But <laughs> I've talked to him out here. So he's holding the leak and so what we wanna do is we wanna try to get a bunch of uh, critical hits, three critical hits in one round. Uh, that didn't work, hold on. What does this do? That's annoying. Stop it. How come that didn't work? Rock Smash didn't work at all. Gus, stop stop attacking me, please. Stop it. Super effective Rock Smash. Doesn't affect the wild. Okay, what about uh, the Fury Cutter? Here we go. Focus energy. Let's see. Getting pumped. Oh, okay, that's nice. Not very effective, but a critical hit. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the Fury Cutter. Uh, let me go ahead and heal myself so I don't have to deal with, you know, dying. Here, let's do, uh, let's do a uh, super potion on F Dog. There we go. Is it a flying type? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Here we go. I don't even know. Hex. Don't hex me. Don't hex me. That was that was heavy hit. That was a heavy hit. I don't like it. Uh, Drift Loon. I'm looking up Drift Loon really quick. Drifloon is a flying ghost type. That makes sense. So the, that's perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, fight it with a Fury Cutter again. Hex again. Come on. Don't hex me again. I'm going to have to heal myself once more. That was a critical hit. I need two more critical hits. Was that one? But it was a critical hit. Perfect. So one more critical hit. Let me go ahead and heal myself. Because this is uh, going crazy already. Use it on me. I, went ahead, I stocked up on these items before getting here. And there we go. And then one more critical hit and I can just be done. 
payback. Don't don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, that doesn't hurt too bad. Not very effective, but it, it was a critical hit. Let's see if uh, my next move can be a critical hit. Fury Cutter. Let's see it. Let's see it. Hopefully it is. That was a great hit. Holy cow. A critical hit. I got three critical hits. I got three critical hits. That's going to be enough to evolve me. That's fantastic. F-Dog got hit. Let's fight back one more time. Uh, Fury Cutter. Uh, let's do it. Here we go. Let's do it. I got three critical hits already. That's three in one round. That means F-Dog is going to evolve into a Sir Fetched. Very awesome. Uh, your Pokemon gain experience points. All right. And then well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we wanted. F-Dog is evolving. We got this. We got this. Ta-da! It's a Sir Fetched. <laughs> but it's a ma'am. <laughs> Very cool. Look at that. There we go. Sir Fetched data will be added to the Pokédex. Only far fetched that have survived many battles can attain this evolution. When this Pokémon's leak withers, it will retire from combat. <laughs> when it's leak withers. All right. So there's a Sir Fetched. Looking really good. Looking really great. Congratulations. Wants to learn the move Iron Defense. Sure, what is Iron Defense? What do we got here? We got a Steel move. Ooh, and this uh, this raises the, dis the defense stat. Let's do it, uh, rather than lowering the opponent's defense, let's uh, raise our defense, maybe? Could that be cool? Um, I don't know. But it's a Steel move. That's cool, on its own. So let's go ahead and, uh, sure, let's, let's forget Leer and learn Iron Defense. So there we go. Super cool. Here we go. Sir fetched on the team as F Dog. Very good look. Very, very good look. Awesome. I'm glad I got that done. Uh, one more thing uh, that I want to do is I want to do a trade with my friend Yashi. Uh, she has a special uh, shield Pokemon for us. So let's go check that out. All right, guys, I'm now trading with my friend Yashi, and uh, I'm going to send her a Yamper because she said she already has everything that I already have. And so I'm just going to go ahead and trade it, and uh, we're going to wait to see. I'm going to get this My Little Pony type of Pokemon here. And uh, what? this is like a special attention. Okay, no more, no communication error, error please. This is a, a Galarian. Is that the right word? Galarian? <laughs> is that the right word? Uh, it's a special uh, Galarian? How do you say that word? I think, anyway. It's a special one. <laughs> it's just for the shield exclusive. Galarian, Galarian, Ponita, and it eventually will be a, a Rapidash. And so its name is Our Dog, and it looks very like a My Little Pony character, honestly, to me. But boom, Our Dog is here, and I don't know if I'm gonna keep Our Dog in the party, uh, but I gotta take good care of Our Dog, of course. And I don't know how long it's gonna be in the party, but this is a very special uh, Shield Pokemon. Uh, so Yashi wanted me to have it. It's a Galarian form, Galarian form of the Ponita. And, oh god, is that okay? Its small horn hides in a healing power with a few rubs on this Pokemon's horn. Ugh, any, any slight wound you have will be healed. All right, so here's our lineup of current Pokemon. Uh, we added our dog here. She replaced Wingull. The next gym is a water-based gym. So I don't know that we need any sort of uh, water-based attacks. Although I do like Wingull. For now, our dog is here. The Galarian Ponita. Yashi sent her to me. Let's look at her moves really quick. This is a Pokemon Sword and Shield series. So occasionally I'll have some Pokemon uh, Shield uh, characters in the Sword game that people like people or Yashi send me. So Yashi send me some more. I can showcase them like this. She has Tackle, Fairy Wind, Psybeam, and Confusion. Our newest member of the party, though, and b believe me, we'll we'll showcase more of our dog next episode too. I don't know if I'm gonna keep Toxel. Toxel looks too sad. <laughs> but F Dog is our newest member. We found her as a far fetched on Route Five. Evolved her into a Sir fetched on Route Five as well. All done within Route Five. Found another one with the leak. Got an honor. Evolved her. Her name's F Dog. She identifies as female. In Woke 2019, I hope I'm not dead naming her by calling her Sir Fetched. Anyway, we'll see you next time for more. We're going to go past the bridge and uh, on to the next town, hopefully, next episode. We'll see you then. Goodbye and thanks for watching. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit zackscott.shop.